What's going on guys, Bengal again here coming back at you with another video, another stream episode for you of the Ben Bones Road to Glory. Insane performance last week, six total touchdowns including five on the ground and this week it gets, or this episode I should say, it gets even tougher. Because we have Arkansas who's kind of whatever, but after that, we have number two Georgia. And of course, if you guys did not, if I didn't have a prelude, I probably had it like a... Uh, something in the beginning of two episodes ago where i'm like hey the file didn't save i didn't realize we replayed the games against san jose state and ole miss so sorry for that it's it's different episodes i guess you're getting like an extra episode um this season but if you check the top 25 polls now of course we beat ole miss and we're undefeated i didn't want it to be this way we're up to number four i want georgia to beat tulsa they should be able to do so pretty easily Northwestern hopefully loses to Miami, and Miami should be a higher overall than them in this. Northwestern is a 90, so 95, or 90, 95, 83, and Miami is a 95, 99 offense, 92 defense. Hopefully Miami beats Northwestern, and then I'd love for Georgia to, uh, to win against Tulsa and then lose to us next week. That kind of needs to happen. If you didn't see any of the upgrades last week, Ben Bones is up to 99 speed, 99 acceleration. But the skill upgrade packages for this week suck. Like, these are terrible. Do I really want any of these random one-game boosts? Not really in these type of environments where we got to go play Arkansas. Like, I know it's at Arkansas. If we lose to the Razorbacks, the series is over. That's not true because it could happen, but also that would be devastating to take the actual... I guess our now our first loss of the season, even though we lost to Ole Miss in what we can call an alternate timeline. Welcome to the multiverse. That's what we're dealing with now. But uh, let's have a good week of practice, get some XP, have a great game against Arkansas, and then save that up. Hopefully, amazing skill upgrades are available in our week against Georgia, and we can uh, dominate them and advance inside the top two. Almost 2,500 XP. Obviously, the most insane we've ever done in practice before. Two touchdowns really helped. We maybe even could add three. But, uh, yeah, we got a lot of XP. And if we dominate Arkansas here, again, we could have so much XP ready to play Georgia. It really just comes down to our defense showing up. But Arkansas is really not that low of an overall as they're approaching a 90. So, I mean, this just might not be a gimme, especially on the road. Hopefully we win. All right, we're going to start off with the football here. And it looks like we're getting Ben Bones involved early. This place is packed. We can see uh, some of the Auburn fans in attendance. Let's try to score for him early. Ben Bones, check it out. 14-yard gain. We're starting it off. Get it going early. We're going to use extra plays already. And we're going to run the ball. It is the Ben Bones show. It is a Ben Bones world. And they're just living in it. So let's see what we're capable of. Up the middle. Ooh, blocking was not great there. Maybe didn't pick the right lane, but that's nothing new. Second and seven, we're going to run a counter to the wide side of the field. Looks like a lot of defenders over on that side with the uh, slot receiver, but he's going to take him over. That should make it a little bit easier to run to that side. Good block. We're going to go up the middle, but 24 is fast as hell in the box making plays. Bones, catch it. Oh, he took a huge hit. That's how you hold on for the scouts. Ben Bones doesn't need to even play running back at the next level. And that is the new school record for catches in a season. Ben Bones with 61 now. I mean, what a monster. Now, it is going to be tough to surpass some of the rushing records here. Because Auburn really is running back you. You look at what Bo Jackson did. What Cadillac Williams did. What uh, Ronnie Brown did. What uh, Trey, Trey Mason even. I mean, there are so many good running backs that have been great at Auburn. Uh, who is the running back after Trey Mason with the multiple part last name, I want to say? I totally can't remember. Like, he wasn't that good. Oh, man, if we could have made him fall down there. That was, those were terrible moves. Second and six. Let's go up the middle. Ben Bones wide open. Look at that speed. Speed kills. 21-yard catch. We might break the record for receiving yards in a season. I don't even know what that would be at Auburn. This game's actually kind of close. Like, that's no good. And the closer it stays, I think the more that Auburn's going to try and pass the ball. 
And we don't want to do that. We want to run the ball. Get it to Ben Bones. We're only up by four. Maybe we'll catch it underneath there for seven. Maybe that's what Ben Bones has to do this, this game. Just operate basically as a slot receiver. We're not getting a ton of opportunities to actually run the ball. And it seemed like when we did, Arkansas was actually containing fairly well. But not, not a here. 11 yards for the Bone Meister. Second and six. Bones in the flat. I should have just taken it out the middle and, and ran that like an angle. It's third and six. And Jalen Harris got sacked. Arkansas don't score. They took the lead. When's the last time that we had to play from behind? Well, I mean, here we are. We got to score before halftime. And maybe the selfishness that I've showcased with Ben Bones has kind of uh, helped with some of that. It's Jalen Harris, you're so bad. Throw it to Bones earlier. Maybe an angle route will be more effective because he just likes to, he likes to hold the ball so long and then throw it anywhere else. Getting out of bounds too. We have to score before half. We cannot lose to Arkansas. Oh, safety coming down. This is going to be easy because that cornerback has to stay with the receiver far left. Oh, Ben Bones was so open. I mean, Cam Martin picked up 13. But, like, you got to be kidding me. Ben Bones was a touchdown. And now it's third and seven. We're not using our final timeout for whatever reason. And where's the football is going over the middle. We use our timeout now, even though we should have gotten to the line. Why? I mean, why would we do this? We're giving away our opportunity to kick a field goal. We, okay, thank God we didn't score there. Or We tied it up with a field goal. And now we get the football back. Okay. I'm getting a little bit nervous here because if we lose to Arkansas, our hopes at a national title are completely over. We might lose to Georgia next week anyway. What a block by Ben Bones. Jalen Harris just sucks. Four yards. Fourth and one. I'm going to make sure we go for it here. Just because we cannot punt in this situation. We have to be aggressive and take the lead. I know where we are on the field. We can get this, though. Ben Bones over the middle. Perfect. That's why you go for it. Because you know you can make it. Finally getting the ball to Ben Bones. Third and 11. Need the first down. We need the blocks to shape up well. And we, can, we can't even get open. Fourth and 11. Now is a situation where we have to punt. And Arkansas got three. Oh, man. Oh, man. Our offense is so bad today. The defense honestly hasn't even played that poorly. I mean, allowing 20 points is kind of not good. And we lost the yard there. We're just in bad shape right now. We really can't get anything going. We can't get anything going. And we're running a draw on second and 11. We stopped again for no gain. In fact, it's a loss. And now third and 13, we're running a slip screen to the short side of the field. We're throwing away our, our hopes and dreams of a national championship. Get out of the way! Oh my God, and we're going to have to punt four verts again. All right. Come on, man. The extra plays isn't really going to help in this situation. Yeah, it was a bad call for the ball. We're only running four verts, though. It's not like I want to pop up and there are going to be run plays available. I can't get past the line. Oh, look at Ben Bones taking it off the ground. Beautiful. 16-yard pickup. We can score a touchdown and then get the ball back quickly. And we scored a touchdown. And we allowed one. We have 55 seconds. We have 55 seconds to go 70 yards no timeouts. We're only down by six. A touchdown and an extra point wins the game. There's Bones. He breaks a tackle. We're going to step out of bounds. We're going to step out of bounds there. Preserve the clock. Look at Ben Bones. Putting the team on the back, man. We're going to go back to four verts. We have an opportunity here, man. We can win the game. Ben Bones up the middle. 
Falling forward. Clock's going to stop momentarily. But we got to get back to the line. We're going to extra plays again. Here's the halfback angle route. Clock's going to keep ticking, though. Clock's going to go. We got to get it going. We got to get moving. He's going to throw outside. 19 yards to Roger McCreary, who I believe got out of bounds. And Ben Bones is off the field. I guess I'll watch the play. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Harris had a shotgun. Different running back. Why are we throwing to Cam Martin? Why are we throwing to Cam Martin? They're going into the hurry up. Oh, my Lord. And they spiked it. Third and seven. Get Ben Bones back on the field. They're not going to, but we scored a touchdown. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Why is Ben Bones not on the field for that? We scored a touchdown, though. Ben Bones got six carries for 23 yards, 12 catches for 127. You're, that's your final 31 to 30. Oh, man. Let's see how it happened. I can't believe they took us off the field for that. But let's see this throw. No replay available because we didn't watch it. <laughs> Absolute thriller with our season on the line to beat Arkansas on the road. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Coach Trust, we actually upgraded that maybe an episode or two ago. So we're now team captain, which means that uh, we can hit extra plays and have two new plays to choose from. We use that five times in a game. And now we're going for next 210 points away from Hometown Hero, which is we can flip the running play at home games, which is like not that useful. We want to get to team leader, ideally, where we can get extra plays with two new plays to choose from. And we can have that ability 10 times in a game, which would be ideal. And then team legend, we can just basically call whatever play we want for the whole game. But this is where things get serious. We play... Georgia Number two Georgia All right, Georgia is now up to number one Wait did Texas lose Did Texas lose or did they just drop they're undefeated, but they they won by a touchdown Georgia barely beat Tulsa Auburn now is at number three After a one-point victory over Arkansas and this you could say is probably for the number one spot we might not even drop too much if we lose here, but we really can't afford to lose. We have to beat Georgia. Are we at home at least? Or no? That's going to be a huge factor. We're at home. And this is apparently the Deep South's oldest rivalry. Georgia. Auburn. We got some skill upgrades. Throwing punches. Don't care about that. Tom, don't jinx us. That one doesn't do anything for me at the moment. Pocket protector? Are you kidding me? What about do it like this? Carrying and agility? We'll upgrade that. The rest, I mean, doesn't really matter. It just doesn't. And then, like, wash them off. We'll buy for the one game upgrade, since this is a huge one. And, uh, I mean, plus two carrying doesn't really matter. It's not like he ever really fumbles the ball. We might get his catching up, since we're catching the ball all the time. Why not use that upgrade? Get that up to 81. And uh, let's go ahead and have a good week of practice. And then play the number one Georgia Bulldogs. Thankfully, we're at home. That could be the difference between a win and a loss. All right. Eh, it, was, it was a decent week of practice. Nothing exceptional. Got over 1,200 total uh, XP. Or I guess XP in that practice. And now we're up over 7,000 total. And this is the biggest game of the entire series, you could say. We are up against number one Georgia. Now, the worst thing about this game is, even if we manage to beat number one Georgia after almost losing Arkansas, after the bye, we have number nine LSU, who could be even higher, number 13 Bama. Like, LSU and Bama are pretty good. So even if we manage to beat Georgia here, it's not like, oh man, we're going to the national championship. And we might not. I mean, we've... I had some really, really close games and some uh, near bad losses, like losing to Ole Miss in the deleted file, or not, not the deleted file, but the file that didn't save, apparently. And um, we almost just lost to Arkansas. And I wouldn't really care if we lost just because we lost to Ole Miss already when it didn't save. But um, 
I don't want to lose. Here we go. Terry Godwin's out there. We're going to receive. Because uh, we want the football in the hands of Ben Bones where we can do damage. We're going to go to... Uh, we're going to hold on to the extra plays. We'll just let Jalen Harris do what he does and just throw it away. And then we'll start with the slip screen. I think being at home is such a big bonus here. Because Georgia could actually play really poorly. Uh, home field advantage is... Jalen Harris is such a f***ing disaster, dude. I mean, get this guy off the field. Bones, sideline, made the catch, and got the first. What a play. See, I know there's didn't save. I don't give a fuck what happens in the series. I don't care if we win the national championship at all. I mean, it's on the 360. I mean, if getting tackled for a loss is so bad, it's always the running back's fault. That's what I hate. Always the running back's fault. That's a touchdown. We're going up early. That's what we had to do. We had to come out and score on the first drive, and we need touchdowns because we know George is going to be effective as they score a touchdown very easily. That is, oh man, Jalen Harris up the middle, off to the races. 31 yards for our terrible starting quarterback. And they threw it away. He can run okay. He just can't throw. And I know he's had some good games throwing the ball. That's because there's short passes to Ben Bones where Ben Bones makes it all happen. Jalen Harris is brutally bad. I mean, the blocking couldn't have been worse. We had two offensive linemen for two defenders, and the two offensive linemen blocked the same guy. Third and six. Dialing up the screen here. And we got it. They didn't block anyone. I mean, these guys are useless. Fourth and three. I'm calling for the hurry up here. How did we not manage to get that first down on that? Like, our offensive linemen are so useless on many occasions they didn't block there look at the spin move that's called individual effort some of these guys absolutely suck we're up 13 7 looks like we uh scored a touchdown didn't see it and then missed the extra point we're just looking for a, a way to blow this game really is what it seems like here's the counter we got tackled for a loss nope thankfully just barely got back to the line oh it counts as a tackle for loss adoption this has to be a handoff Nope, he took it himself for a one-yard loss. And we're going to punt. And George is going to score. And guess what? They kicked the extra point. So they're up 14-13 to 13 now. I mean, you knew it was going to happen. 36 seconds to score. Bones open. There's the juke. It's a shame we got caught from behind. And there's a flag that's going to bring this back more than likely. Clipping Javon Myers, who was not even involved. There we go. Same play good juke i mean similar result 18 yards and now a timeout and we're off the field 10 so oh we had a lot of yards why are we not calling a timeout the clock was going to expire i'm going to go to an extra play here we're going to try smash then we're going to try to get into the end zone eight seconds we just got to have uh you know a positive play here no sacks please Outside corner and it's intercepted. It's intercepted. Ben Bones maybe saves a pick six. Jalen Harris is so terrible. Run to Ben Bones here. Juke back. First down. We have to run the ball more. I want to save my extra plays for the final drive. If it comes into that situation. We're going to run read option again. We need our defense to step up. Have they gotten to stop the entire game? I mean, I'm, I'm not sure that they have. Second and four, triple option. And he ran it to Will Hastings up the middle. Third and five. Although, this is a halfback seam route. We're streaking. We're going to take it right there. Ben Bones first down. We just got to take what the defense gives us. We don't need that to be a 30-yard bomb up the middle. We, we can just take the first down, get a fresh set. And we didn't score. And then Georgia scored. What is happening? I mean, the only time we're moving the ball is when it's Ben Bones. 26-yard catch. The game's not over, but we cannot stop Georgia on offense. And they keep taking Ben Bones out. Although we scored, and then we allowed a touchdown. Like, it's 36-19. The game's over. There is uh, absolutely no hope to come back. So, that's frustrating. Ben Bones off the field. That is your final we're going to lose 36 to 19. 
Uh, it's amazing just how bad not only our play calling is, but um, just Jalen Harris is and our execution and our defense can't get a stop the entire game. We got six carries. Um, all right, so we got a bye week. Let's see what type of skill upgrades will be available. Uh, why would this be 35,000 points? Someone want to explain that one to me? Don't know. Uh, truck driver is a fun one, but power beyond power. Unleash the power with spectacular catch, spin move, and juke move. That doesn't sound what, like what power is. We're going to buy it because those are, those are good packages. More juke up to 90 is fantastic. Spin move to 79, spectacular catch up to 80. I like those. And uh, I will practice. We dropped to number seven. So, I mean, we were we were due a loss anyway with the whole Ole Miss situation. And um, that's going to do it for the episode, man. It should be a fun game next week. And when I say fun game, I mean it won't be because we play Alabama and LSU. So it's going to suck. But that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.